All right, insiders, another week of news flash. This is one of our most exciting updates ever because of the fact that last week, if you were watching, we changed things up. We didn't ask a trivia question. We asked you, the Creator Insider community, what you thought we could do to meet our goal of increasing by 10,000 subscribers our subscriber count. Now, I cannot wait to get to those suggestions, but let's run through a couple of updates from the product teams, from the engineering teams, and let's get started with YouTube Shorts. All right, so last week, you'll remember that we were talking about YouTube Shorts. Now, we still got a couple of questions, so we wanna continue our focus on that to make sure we're providing as much clarity as possible to you, the Creator Insider community. So the three questions we want to address, those that were posed most commonly last week were, how do I upload a short? I don't see the creation tool that you're talking about and any best practices for shorts. So let's get into it. Step one, log in to the mobile app, click on the create icon, and then in that sub menu, click on upload a new video. Step two, that's gonna have brought up your camera roll and you're gonna select this specific video that you wanna upload. Step three, from there, once you select the video, you're gonna be brought to the details page where you're gonna be able to add metadata like title, description, and set up your privacy settings. Once you've got all that in, you're gonna to wanna to click on the upload option in the top right-hand corner. Once you've done that, you're gonna be taken to the video manager section where you can watch the progress of your upload as well as tap and edit previous uploads. Now, some of you are asking, where on earth are those creation tools that you've been talking about? Well, those tools are being rolled out on a limited basis, and right now they're only available in India. That said, you can still have your video eligible for the short shelf and feed all you need to do is make sure that it's 60 seconds or under and shot in the vertical format. And number three, in terms of our questions around shorts was any best practices that you can highlight around making the best shorts possible? Well, the first thing that you can do is arguably the simplest, which is put in hashtag shorts in the title. And what that will do is give you a better chance to appear on the shorts row. Now, the second piece of advice would be around keeping it fresh. And what I mean by that is keep it highly visual and highly accessible. Now, as I say that, I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure those who are trying to build a channel on YouTube know that you have to keep things highly visual, highly accessible, and very enjoyable. But what I mean by all of this is those people who see your shorts may not be your channel subscribers. So what you wanna do is make sure that you're not using any inside jokes and don't spend too much time on creating memes or titles. Just make sure that you're getting your message out there, keep it short and keep it sweet. Now, the last tip I'm gonna give you is around programming effectively. And what I mean by that is your YouTube Shorts video is going to be available as a standard video on YouTube main anyway. So what you're going to want to do is think about your schedule and whether it fits into your overall programming schedule. And also think about the location that you want to keep those shorts. So is it in a specific playlist on your channel homepage or is it somewhere else? And that's it on shorts. We'll obviously be coming back to it next week and we'll answer any questions you have about it. We're always here to provide that bit of human clarity directly from the teams that develop these product features. All right, next up, we are making an update to Live Control Room that is going to bring YouTube Studio Video Details Editor into the Live Control Room to live video creation. And what that means for you creators is that you will be able to edit certain stream settings such as tags, monetization, rights management, etc, etc, without having to go back into YouTube Studio. How awesome is that? All right, next up we have some news about our adult policies. And this is around community guidelines. So what we're referring to here is nudity and sexual content. And if you are found to be uploading pornography 
or explicit content for the purpose of sexual gratification, that is grounds for channel termination. All right, next up we have a policy update and that is moving a little bit closer to my neck of the woods. So what this update is, is a launch of the COVID-19 medical misinformation policy. What that means for the platform is any claims that are made about COVID-19 and vaccinations, which contradict expert consensus from either a local health authority or the World Health Organization can be removed from the platform. There's no expected impact to manage partners at launch, but just keep it in mind because there is a lot of medical misinformation out there online, as we all know, and we wanna make sure that it does not find a home on YouTube. Next up, we have some updates around the repositioning of cards in studio dashboards. Now, what we're gonna do is try and group together channel related cards. So for example, a card around channel analytics and then separately group together communication cards like news and insights. And we're doing this to eventually give a more prominent space to those insights for you cards. And all of this is being done to better organize the information that we're providing to you about your channel specifically and about the channel overall. So we really hope this has a difference in the way in which we're communicating with you. Uh, so again, if you're seeing this, give us some feedback, let us know how you feel, and we'll pass on all the relevant pieces of feedback to the product team. All right, now you will have to forgive me because I do have to do some reading. Um, we asked last week for something different, something that wasn't the trivia questions, which we all know and love. It was suggestions about how we can meet our challenge of increasing the number of subscribers on our channel to 10,000 more subscribers than we have now. So that's about 364K. And we were inundated with suggestions. I have a whole spreadsheet here in front of me, but there are three winners. And we're gonna pursue these for the rest of the year. And that's our timeline to get to the end of the year with 10,000 more subscribers. So Molly's Artistry asked for a consistent host. So we've already done that. I'm gonna be here for at least uh, the next couple of months. Um, so thanks for that, Molly's artistry. Um, you've also suggested that we should have the audience send in short questions to be answered by staff and shown on the channel. Now, I really like that because we can set up some sort of form and make sure that we get really rapid answers to your questions and we have somebody from the team come on and give us just very short answers uh, that are direct and to the point. Um, and then... Dun, dun, dun. try different backgrounds and colors on the thumbnails and get pe feedback from people using betas. So those are all really solid suggestions. Thanks so much, Molly's Artistry. Next up, we have Seven Blade, coolest channel name I think I've ever seen. We should have our official Twitter handles shout us out more and do a Q&A from the send feedback link and we should collaborate directly with more creators. We've collaborated with Mr. Beast before. That's a great idea. We'll definitely take that up. And last but not least, we have cemented some solid suggestions with Brick Broadcasting. We need more granular content, Mr. or Mrs. Broadcasting says. And um, we could use shorts to tease upcoming videos. Um, or just deliver bite-sized information through the shorts themselves. And lastly, something a lot of people said, not just Mr. slash Mrs. Broadcasting, was swag. We need to get better at swag. You can see the merch shelf underneath this video where you can buy a lot of Creator Insider stuff, but you know what is better than buying Creator Insider merchandise? Receiving it for free. So. Leave that with us and we will get back to you. Um, but now I need to move on to next week's trivia question. YouTube has a history with pranks, which started in 2008. And its first prank was redirecting every single video on the YouTube homepage to which music video? 
Give us the artist and the title in the comments below and you will hear your channel name read out next week. And who knows, there may be some swag as well. All right, I've been Connor. This has been News Flash. I'll be back with you next week as your consistent host. Keep those suggestions coming and help us grow this channel. Thanks very much and we'll see you next week.